Now, this is a very important video for all people who are coming from other BI tools to Power BI. Power BI is very good in many terms, many features are there, functions are there. But there is one limitation which I think I should show you. There is a problem in Power BI dashboard and how to overcome that limitation. So, let's see that. I have opened this report here. So that's a Power BI service. I'll just go to my workspace and let me open any one dashboard here. Let me open this Superstore dashboard. Okay. Now these are few charts which I've prepared. Okay. Normally what happens in a dashboard when you click on this particular angle or a slice or if I click on this particular slice, what should happen? The other charts should get filtered out. Okay. For that particular selected slice. Or if I select this 56,000, the other chart should show me only 56,000 related values. Let me click on this 56,000 and carefully observe what will happen in the dashboard. So if I click on that, it will jump to the report from where it came. Okay, the chart where it came from, it will jump to that report. Let us give one more try. I'll go to my workspace, Superstore dashboard and I'll scroll down. Now, if I click on copiers, this particular bar, if I click on copiers, it should filter the entire dashboard for only copiers. So if I click on this, so you see it's not filtering, but it is jumping to the page where actually it came from or the report where it came from. So this is a report. Okay. This is a Power BI report. This is not a dashboard. Okay. I have given the name also. That's not a dashboard. So, but on the other hand, if you see, if I click on this slice here, the other charts are getting filtered out. Okay, you see other charts are getting filtered out. Most of the companies in the world which I work with, I've worked with at least 70 plus different clients. They don't use dashboards in Power BI. They use only reports. This is a report. They use this kind of reports. Okay, this is a report or a page I can say. What is that? Because of this feature. So if you click, the other should filter out. So what is the solution for that? Okay, so that's a topic. You understood what is the problem? The problem in Power BI dashboard is it is not interactive. And what is the solution? Okay, the solution would be I can go to this report or a page of this report. And here, if you see, that's a pin live page. Okay, it's not visible. Let me just minimize. Yes, now it is visible. You see this pin icon and the name is given as pin live page. So the entire page would be pinned into a dashboard. Okay, now let me click on pin live page. And here I can create a new dashboard named as Superstore dashboard 3. Superstore dashboard 3. Click on the spin live. So entire page would be pinned to that particular dashboard. Now, one more. I can just go back to this page 1 and I can click on pin live page and I'll say existing dashboard. That is dashboard 3. Click on pin live. So entire page would be pinned to that. Let me go to that dashboard. And here, if you see, if I just minimize, yes. So hardly you will find any difference between dashboard and a uh, report right now because if i click on this you see this entire page is getting filtered out if i click on this entire page is getting filtered out on this screen which you see and if i scroll down this is the page if i click on this page you see it is not jumping to the page it where it came from because it is the entire page and it is filtering itself okay so this is the solution for that option so what you do is you can pin the entire page into a dashboard. So it will not go to the destination. So you see it is playing in the report itself, in the dashboard itself. So this is the solution for the problem which companies face. But if you ask me, most of the companies, 90% of the companies, they do not use Power BI dashboard. They use just reports. And how do they use? They come back to this workspace and they work in the report section itself. So when you should use dashboard? Dashboard should only be used when you just want to see. You don't want to interact with any of the element. Just want to watch the reports as a static report, not as a dynamic. When you click, it should change. No. So then only you can use this dashboard. What I think it might be wrong, but if you, that's a survey which I have observed everywhere. That's it. But I hope you have understood what is the problem and the solution in a dashboard in Power BI service. That's all for this video.